Hello and welcome everybody. Thanks for tuning in uh, to this channel and uh, for this conference which is called Building the Fire Brands and this is the fourth day of the conference and we had some amazing time in these three days where amazing worship leaders and preachers have ministered to us and we have come to the fourth day of the conference and today with us we have brother Mark Tribuan who will be leading us into time of worship. We have uh, been blessed by his songs. Uh, with his worship and uh, I've known him and have ministered with him along with him and I'm telling you uh, there is power when he leads us into time of worship and I believe that uh, that's going to happen the same even as he leads us today into time of worship so I, I don't want to take much time and just hand this time to brother Mark Tribuan who would be leading us into the time of worship. वचन कहता है कि तू हमें कभी छोड़ता नहीं कभी अकेला नहीं छोड़ेगा कभी अनाथ नहीं छोड़ेगा तेरी हम स्तुति करते हैं परमेश्वर तेरा धन्यवाद करते हैं कि अवसर तूने हमें दिया है कि हम मिलकर इस 
टेक्नोलॉजी के माध्यम से हम तेरी स्तुति आराधना तेरे नाम को ऊंचा उठा सके प्रभु आज हम यहां पर आए हैं खुदा तेरी पवित्र आत्मा से तुम हमें भर दे पिछले दिनों में तो हमारे साथ था तेरी आत्मा ने हमारी अगुवाई की हमसे बातें की इसलिए हम तेरे नाम को धन्यवाद देते हैं पिता हम फिर एक बार आज तेरे चरणों के पास आते हैं तेरे आत्मा से भरना चाहते हैं तेरे अभिषेक से भरना चाहते हैं तेरे दुग्ने अभिषेक से भरना चाहते हैं और फिर अश्वरी अपनी स्पिरिट आइए सब मिलकर हम जहां कहीं भी है अपने हृदय को तैयार करें बस प्रिपेयर और हाथ उसके चरणों के पास आए उसे कहे परमेश्वर आज मैं तेरा अभिषेक को पाना चाहता हूं आई नीड योर एनॉइंटिंग डबल पोर्शन ये समय है आइए पूरे दिल से पूरे मन से उसके सामने आए
रूप हूँ तेरे जैसे अभिषेक कर दे मुझे तेरी रूह से कि मैं बन सकू खूब हूँ तेरे जैसे वो दुगना और ताजा जानते हैं कि हमारे लिए तेरे पास बड़ी योजनाएं हैं यू हैव बिगर प्लान्स फॉर अस और एज वी सबमिट टू यू होली स्पिरिट एज वी सबमिट टू यू यू वांट टू कम इनटू योर प्रेजेंस एंड लिफ्ट योर नेम आई हम सब मिलकर उस पवित्र आत्मा की स्तुति उसके आराधना करें उसका स्वागत करें तेरी महिमा का बादल इस जगह तेरी महिमा का बादल घेरे इस जगह हे प्रभु छूले
विश्वास है कि तू आज हमसे वापस आएगा सारा आदर देता हूं तुझे 
Yeshu Messi gemeinsam auch. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mark, for, uh, for leading us into a time of worship. And uh, we pray that the Lord would lead you and bring forth much more greater songs uh, from your heart and that would bless the body of Christ. Uh, friends, coming up next is uh, my good friend and amazing man of God and uh, he's a fun guy and, and when it comes to word and worship, I believe that he is just crazy. Uh, uh, I've seen him minister and uh, I'm telling you the power that he brings through the word of God and even in his worship is such a such a uh, treat just to watch him do that. And he is here with us in this conference, even as he is going to share from the word of God. And I believe that this is going to bless the body of Christ and everybody who is watching us right now at this conference. So Pranit, we are excited and, uh, and really waiting to hear what the Lord has spoken uh, to you, which you want to communicate to us today. So over to Pranit. Hi friends, this is Pranit Calvin. I want to greet you all in the matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ and our Savior. What a joy it is for me to be here with all of you this evening and bring what God has for this season. Especially, especially firstly, before I start, I want to thank my dear brother Mark Tribuan who led us so beautifully in God's presence. And also I want to acknowledge the man of God, my dear friend uh, Ronnie Mabin who has been obedient to God's voice and is working towards bringing or raising a generation that is on fire for Jesus. So I'm so thankful for, for these two men of God and uh, also I have the honor and privilege to share this platform with some of, uh, some of the really, some of really amazing friends and men of God who has impacted our generation. So I, I don't take this lightly. I don't take this uh, uh, you know, I, I know and I understand the the importance of what we are doing today. Uh, let us all, before we enter, let's just close our eyes. Let's pray. Let's be thankful to God because he's been with us. He's been taking care of us in this, uh, specifically in this season. You know, God has protected us. I want to thank God for healing every person that has gone through this infection. I know there have there have been many. Uh, I know my friends and my family, few of our family members who were infected. But I'm so thankful to God that God healed them, and most all of them are at home right now. They are healed. So let's just close our eyes. Let's just be thankful to God for this wonderful season. Let's be thankful to God for His promise that is wherever we call unto Him. He is with us wherever two or three gather. And now let me just tell you, it doesn't matter if you if you are somewhere, I am somewhere, if we are not in the same room or in the same building, God is not bound by such restrictions. But I believe that even as we speak, I believe even as we are standing or wherever you are, in your house, on your bed, on your couch, I believe that even as we start praying, the presence of God will come down. Let's all close our eyes. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we are so thankful. God, we are so thankful for these times, God. Lord, we are so thankful because we know that you are with us. God, we know that you have protected us. Lord, we know that we, that we have been safe under your wings, God. God, I thank you for your presence that is with each and every one that is listening to me right now. And Lord, I know that this evening, at this time, God, you're going to raise, even before we finish, God, you're going to raise Fire brands for your name, Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Holy Spirit. God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Lord, even before I start speaking of what you've laid on my heart, God, you touch your people, Lord. Lord, help us, Lord. Lord, you, Holy Spirit, you prepare our hearts, God. Lord, you open our ears, Lord, in the Spirit, so that we would understand and hear of that that the Lord speaketh. Lord, Father, we come before thy throne of grace. Lord, we surrender ourselves, Lord, Father, we thank you once again. In your most wonderful and precious name, we pray. Amen. I'm so glad you guys are with me. And uh, you know, I have a word, I believe, uh, for this time, for this season. You know, first and foremost, imp most important thing for me uh, in my walk with God is, is being intimate with God. And, uh, and if you've heard my songs, my writing, most of them 
would talk about intimacy. Most of them would push you towards God. Most of them would, would ask God for more. You know, this is what my heart is. My, my favorite psalm is Psalms chapter 63. You can read it later on. Uh, the Amplified Version speaks of it so beautifully. Let's, let's start with that. Uh, I hope you guys have your Bibles. Even if you, if you don't have it, I have time. You can take it. Psalms chapter 63. I'll just read a few verses. It starts like this. It's, it's a psalm of David when he was in the wilderness of Judah. And he said when, when, when his life was in, was in danger, he called out unto God and said, Oh God, you're my God with deepest longing I will seek you. It is not just seeking because of... See, he's not seeking God because he's in problem. He's not seeking God because he's in trouble. But if you, if you read this ahead, he says, My soul, the Amplified Version speaks and you know digs it out even well. It says, My life, my very self, that means every single cell that is in me, thirst for you my flesh longs and sighs for you in a dry and weary land where there's no water i have gazed upon you in the sanctuary to see your power and glory because your loving kindness is better than life my lips will praise you i i i want to read the eighth verse you know please after this you can read the psalm the psalm is help me so help me to follow Jesus, to fall in love with Jesus even more. My hunger is grown because of this. The psalmist says, my soul, my very life, my very self clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. As a kid, I would, I would just see this. You know, my idea of loving Jesus is, uh, I don't know if you've, you've seen this, but uh, I've seen this many places. The pastors that have young kid, the kid would go on this stage and hold their father's leg and not just hold them but you know try to climb them like a koala bear this is what i've seen in my heart this is what i i want to do to god this is what my longing and my hunger is so that i would cling on to him you know and in this you know for for past few days god has been speaking to me very specifically about what god is about to do in the churches uh, specifically, God is going to raise a new generation. You might have heard this so many times, but I will explain you what this generation is. In this, in this, specifically in the lockdown season, uh, I believe that God is preparing few people who would carry His presence. You know, just like the name of the conference is Firebrands. God is preparing Firebrands for Himself. You know, before that, I want you to understand. Whoever you are, however you are, you know, whatever you've gone through in your life, whatever you're doing in your life, I want to tell you, I want you to understand that God is interested in your life at a very personal level. You know, this one verse as a kid, as a teenager, when I read this and it really changed my life, I went through some really difficult times in my uh, in my life. I broke my left shoulder. I don't have a bone here. It is just a fiber plate. And in those times, I read this verse when I wanted to end my life. And this verse gave me hope and I don't miss it every time. I share it and I declare it because I want people to understand that my God is interested personally in, in my life. You know, it says, for I know. For me, the verse, Jeremiah 29, 11, you know, it just really opened up a lot of things. I understood that God knows. Bible says, you know, it starts like this. Bible says that for I know. The plan that I have for you. And I understood that when God has a plan for me, I need not worry about anything. Bible says, God says that I know the plans that I have for you. How would God know me? This was my question. But Bible says that he knows me by my name. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 3 is something that was very dear to my heart. I believe that I, that I personally walk into this uh, 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 into this call where, where God said that I knew you before, you before you were formed in your mother's womb. Not only that, but I've called you by name. Not only that, but I've concentra consecrated you and I've set you apart. Not only that, but I have called you for myself. Not only that, but I've called you as prophet over nations. 
God has called each and every one of us as prophets for his name. God has called each and every one of you that is listening to me right now as a firebrand for him, as a prophet over nations. Just imagine God is going to raise few people who will speak and nations will be impacted. Just imagine, just understand this. Whatever I'm speaking, you will see this happening. God will raise few people that will, imp- that, that will speak and conditions, atmospheres over cities and countries are going to change. You know, this is what the Lord is doing. So I want to, the first thing that I want to establish here is God is interested in you. God at a very personal level knows you, understands you, is seeing you right now of what you're going through. So nothing is hidden from him. He knows inside out. He knows you're going. He knows you're coming in. He knows you're standing up. He knows you're sitting. Everything. He knows everything that you're going through. But yet he says that I have called you. I have set you apart. Even 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 as I'm saying this, God is touching few of you. You're, you know, I, I sense it that the, the spirit of the Lord is touching few of you. You can, you can sense his presence. If you feel like crying, you know, just just let go. Don't hold yourself. If you can, if you want to run to a room where you can go alone, walk outside, do whatever. Be careful. But in this season, you know, God is, uh, you know, he's specifically interested in you. He understands you. He knows you. But God has this call over each and every one of our lives that is to walk with him intimately hand in hand so that we understand so that so that the king can share what is in his heart you know uh, genesis chapter 1 verse 26 when god created everything he just spoke and things happened he just said that there be light and there was light which which we which the humankind has not yet been understanding of what the light is genesis chapter 1 verse 26 god said let let us make man in our image what is this image? You know, for, for the longest of my time, I, I, I thought that the look that I have, the physical appearance, the flesh that I have is something that God has created, that, that, that God wants or, or, or this, this, is, this is how God must be looking. But if you really understand, it is not my man, the, the flesh, but the man that is spirit. God created my spirit to be like him in his... Uh, in his likeness, the Bible today, because of Jesus, the Bible says that you and I, we sit in the heavenly places. You and I, we are sitting on the right hand of our father because of Jesus Christ. You and I, we are co-heirs in all that the father has. So God wants to have this communi- communion with you and I. The very purpose of creating human, Adam and Eve, was so that God would have a communion with man. God would delight in sitting with us, talking to us, you know, speaking into our hearts. This is what God uh, created us for. See, there's a big difference about just reading, uh, uh, about reading about somebody and understanding and knowing that person in person. It is, there's a difference. Let me, let me say this again. There's a difference in reading about somebody and there's there's a whole different game when you know that person in person when you meet that person when you sit with that person when you spend time with that person many of you that read novels or books or many of you that might have heroes uh, in in any industry in any way you might understand you you might have knowledge of where he was born which city which what date which hospital, which family, where did he grow, his school, his college, uh, you know, his graduation, everything you may know, but you may not know the person still. You may have every knowledge about the person, but you may not know the person. And this is what the church many times suffers today. We, we have knowledge, but we don't, but we don't have knowledge of, of, of whom we are reading. You know, kitne कितने तकलीफ की बात है कि हम जिसके बारे में हम पढ़ते हैं हम समझते हैं हम उस परमेश्वर को ही नहीं समझते यू नो बट गॉड इज ब्रिंगिंग पीपल यू नो हु आर नॉट हु आर नॉट गोना फंक्शन जस्ट आउट ऑफ हियर बट आउट ऑफ हियर आउट ऑफ रिलेशनशिप गॉड इज गॉड इज पिकिंग अप 
people and uh, even as i'm speaking you know this has been happening and god is going to pick few more people on uh, people that are listening to me right now relationship is not out of knowledge but out of knowing god you know uh, i was uh, recently i was reading the book of genesis which most of us have done so many times but if you read the descendants of adam the bible is 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 at a pace which is very fast it just got it goes like this this man we get 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 this son and he was his son he was his father he was his son he was his father suddenly the bible for me it just it just comes to a slow motion where it talks about enoch it just feels like that everything in that chapter just stops and halted because there was this one man who chose to walk with god you, you have to understand that this was a time of rebellion this is the time when when people were going away from god but there was this one man in this generation god only needs one man in a generation if you read about noah people were mocking him but all when when jesus saw the whole earth you know when god saw the whole earth bible says that his heart was broken first time ever he 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 regretted of creating man but when he saw moses uh, sorry when he when he saw noah he he was happy he was glad and he chose that one man and he saved the mankind god only requires that one man who's right in his heart for him who's right in his work for him you know uh and 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 the bible uh, speaks if you if you read genesis chapter 5 verse 24 about this man that walked with god he lived for 365 years the bible says when we read this it is very small ye aake aise aise fatak se nikal jata hai but just understand the 365 years this man walked on the face of the earth and walked with god and and because god was so much in love with him because god was so involved with him he he he's among the few that god just lifted up they didn't see that and of was one of them in fact i should see the first of them you know and uh, and why did god really call him up why did god just pick him up according to me he fulfilled the call that god had over his life see when uh, you know even as i started the word i said that our god is god of plans and purposes god knows the plan and the purpose that he has through our lives but i have to be ready i need to understand what it is see for 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 many of us we think that if god chooses me I will stand in front of a stadium I will stand in front of an open air ground be it leading worship or uh, or or be it speaking just imagine you know when you read the life of of our dear uh, Dr DJ Dinakaran he wanted to give away his life he wanted to die he was at the track of a, of a, he he was on a railway track and there's this one man who came one man who came and shared the word of god who spoke about jesus and this and the man that was about to die his life was changed and many lives many souls after that came in the knowledge and understanding of who jesus is because of this one man because of his obedience what was this man doing at at uh, uh, in the night at a railway track Just imagine he was one man that was obedient to the voice of god that changed history of our nation It is not just Dr. D, uh, D. J. Dinakaran sir, but even the man who came and reached out to him. God is picking up such people who are obedient to His voice. I was I was talking to one of our pastors, and he shared about his his grandfather, uh, who was also a man of God. Uh, and uh, just one day, he just heard God's voice in the night, and it was just get out of your house and be at the bus stand at six six a.m. He got up, took his wife, went to the bus stand at 6 a.m. He didn't know where to go, what bus to catch. If somebody's going to come and meet him there, from there, God told him to sit in that bus. He went, sit, sat on in this bus just to just to bring that down. He went to a family far away, a family that was desperate, a family that was dying, and this one man. I don't know his name. Maybe before this, you might have never heard of him. 
but god but god celebrates such people you know heaven celebrates us we have to understand many times we live on celebration of people of what people have to say of what people think of me of of uh, you know uh, like specifically is like like i am also a worship leader i am also a songwriter many times it used to happen before that if i've put a song you know how much has it reached you know uh, like the whole youtube generation that we are in you know how many hits it has but the holy spirit really taught me that it doesn't really matter for me what matters is even if i spend lakhs and lakhs of rupees on one project on one song and even if one life somewhere is saved if even if one life somewhere is ministered everything is worth it even if no man knows me it doesn't matter even if nobody celebrates me it doesn't matter even if i go and people nobody acknowledges me nobody you know appreciates me we we as human beings we want it it is important it is not bad if 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 you if till date if you've been thinking you've been wanting that because i was like this but i believe that god is raising up a generation that doesn't care of what people have to say that don't thrive or live on appreciation of people this is this is what the lord was speaking to me when i was praying the other day lord what do you want me to speak and god was talking to me this this is something that god has been speaking to me for a while but has not allowed me to speak it anywhere else but i believe that when god has allowed me he's going to do it god said that i'm going to raise up people especially young boys and girls who come who who are not from this very rich family maybe they are not pastors kids their their parents are not at a leadership post in the church they are actually nobodies in the church many maybe the pastor wouldn't know your name but god's going to raise such people who've been faithful in the kingdom who've been faithful to his church to his house who've been faithfully walking with god you know in the smallest of smallest smallest things the decisions that you have taken god has noticed it but now it's time that god is going to raise few people you know few few uh, years back i was sitting and i was just praying you know uh, i have a spring for more hunger and um, you know more desires desiring more of his presence and at that time the holy spirit gave me these lines which were which was ek aisi agni tu mujh mein laga de ki jalne paun tujh mein and uh, to be very frank uh, i am a hindi speaking person i understand hindi very well but these lines at that very moment didn't actually make uh, i i just couldn't understand and then the holy spirit started talking to me it is about this new generation this new leaders that god is raising up that will carry his fire and their desire won't be about themselves their ministry their names but it but it will be about glorifying jesus ek aisi agni tu mujhe laga de ki ab jalne paau tujhme matlab prabhu tu mujhe ek aisi aag daal ki prabhu main nahi dikhu lekin prabhu log dikhai de uske baad mein ye geet kehta aasha ka zariya bana जीवन की नदियों को बहा जो प्रभु का वचन कहता था बाइबल प्रोमिस दैट आउट ऑफ योर बेली लिविंग वॉटर शुड फ्लो आउट यू नो गॉड इज गोइंग टू टेक पीपल स्पेशली स्पेशली द वे वी अंडरस्टैंड मिनिस्ट्री द वे वी अंडरस्टैंड किंगडम गॉड इज चेंजिंग दैट the things that if that were normal the way we behave that we thought was normal is going to change people are just going to walk into darkness into places where uh, where there is no church maybe and god is going to demonstrate his power raw power amongst people just imagine a nobody goes to a place prays to prays for somebody who's been blind since birth and god gives them eyes this is what god is going to do god is going to raise people but understand who this generation is for them their ministry their name what they are doing how people appreciate them wouldn't matter or any everything anything that will matter to them is to see the name and banner of jesus high you know there are there are such people in the bible as well in the new testament especially uh, jesus is talking to this massive crowd you know and he asks his uh, his uh, his disciples and he tells them we have to go on the other side and jesus crosses the lake and the the sea and there there this man mark chapter 5 verse 20 you all know the story there is this man who's possessed with legions of 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 demons this man who's uh, who's been thrown out of the society 
you know he is not he is not his habitat is not amongst men but he is among in the caves uh, where uh, where there are tombs this man is this man has no control over himself he is cutting himself he is hurting himself and uh, he he's a mess he's a problem for the society there and jesus crosses the lake come to comes to him the man gets delivered and you all know the story but the but this man who was delivered had this desire to walk behind jesus or go with him jesus said don't come with me but go back to your house and tell people of what the lord has done this one man i am sure that you don't know his name if you've read somewhere in some some scholars book or uh, historians uh, research i don't know but i personally don't know this man's name but do you know the impact that this man has had he went to 10 different cities if you read uh, mark chapter 5 verse 20 let, let's read this you know i pray even as i speak god would kindle this fire into your hearts into your in 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 your in your souls Mark chapter 5 verse 20 so he obeyed and went away and began to publicly proclaim in Decapolis I was recently listening to a man of God who explained what this is and in the amplified bible if you read it again explains what decapolis means decapolis is not a town it is not a village but it is it is it is a group of 10 cities together that is what decapolis means uh, in my bible it says the region of 10 hellenistic cities what were hellenistic cities these are alexandrian cities which was greece maybe persia egypt this one man who had no family this one man who had no hope this one man that nobody wanted to associate themselves with when met jesus impacted 10 cities can you just imagine and who is he he is a nobody i don't know his name but do you know what heaven celebrates him there's one more story there's this one more lady if you read uh, in uh, in john chapter 4 let's open our bibles to john chapter 4 very soon i'm going to end but i want but i know that god is stirring you stirring your hearts right now john chapter 4 there's this woman we w- women we we know her story we've read her story we've heard of her so many times this this guru the creator of heaven and earth is 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 in conversation this with this one lady whom the society has said is characterless who's had many failed marriages even the one that she is in is not right or she's struggling or maybe she's seeing somebody else this woman is so broken in her heart that in in the hottest hour of the afternoon she comes to fetch water for her family why because she doesn't want to face anybody why because she doesn't want to talk to anybody because she doesn't want anybody sympathy maybe but jesus was there at the well at the jacob's well the bible says and when she came jesus talking there's a conversation that is happening but do you know this one woman this nobody we don't even know her name there are assumptions of who she could be but nobody knows who she was but this one woman was the source or the reason of salvation for a whole city god is hand picking such people even even when i'm speaking this i feel i feel god's presence so strong you know god people are going to be sent now god is going to send people to places that you've not imagined god is going to raise people that you've not thought, thought about that this you know ki isse kuch acha ho sakta hai that this man or this girl can do something good specifically in this time i believe and i know it so strong in my heart that god is raising women god is god is raising girls as boys over this nation that will impact this nation that will impact nations to come that will impact cities god is raising boys and girls who have of no significance whom nobody knows as a firebrand for himself you know i'm so glad that i'm bringing this word to what of you know for what god is going to do god only needs this one person 
it doesn't matter what your age is i'm not i'm not just talking to you to young people but everybody every ear that is listening to me right now god is ready if right now if you allow him to change shift things shift patterns in your life matthew chapter 5 verse 8 it is a beautiful promise it is blessed are the pure at heart for they shall see god see you should understand this there is no more competition of what i am doing you know who is doing better why i am like this why these guys are going ahead why not me understand because god till now had kept you hidden in himself for himself i love what god the i love what bible says about samuel when when god chose samuel over the family of eli bible says that god chose a prophet for himself god is choosing prophets for himself god is choosing evangelists for himself god is choosing fire brands for himself who are on fire in love mad and crazy for jesus you know even as i pray i want you guys to just close your eyes right now and let's just thank god i just want to thank god for thank you for touching your people right now horamani arana mahaste thank you jesus lord thank you for touching your people lord thank you for your presence may i feel so much of god's presence right now in my house even when i speak to you open your hearts open your hearts right now open your hearts i believe god is going to change destinies today god is going to change destinies this evening thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you lord mana ma asti khede dio ro lo mri ara lam just close your eyes lift up your hand and surrender yourselves come as you are come as you are but know this that god is going to change things from now on from now on things are going to change patterns are going to change many things are going to break the one that is potter is going to break you and give you a new shape is going to mold you in a new angle people that will see you from today will be surprised and astonished and say will say who is this boy or who is this girl just talk to him right now talk to him right now even as i am praying lord i pray that each and every one that is accepting and have received the word that that you've brought through me god lord who've received the call that you've called them for and right now i'm praying lord i pray that you would fill their hearts their lives with your tangible presence right now so that they would understand that god it is you thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus god is breaking so many things right now god is breaking so many things right now thank you jesus oh that thank you oh we worship you jesus we worship you thank you lord lord thank you for speaking to our hearts today thank you for speaking to our hearts today thank him because he has chosen you has hand picked you for a purpose which is greater than your understandings which is greater than your imaginations for what no eye has seen what no ear has heard for what has not come into a man's heart god is able to do more than that for them that love him is what the bible says you know and uh thank you jesus we thank you lord thank you for god's thank god for his presence right now you know hear me carefully now you will see things change around you you will see your prayer change from today you will see as soon as you call on the name of god you know you will feel heaven down i welcome you on this new journey with jesus right now if if you're ready i would i would love to pray with you if you want to give your heart to jesus again if you want to surrender again i would love to pray with you let us all close our eyes and make sure that you you say this after me loudly thank you jesus 
Lord, I thank you, Lord. Lord, thank you, God, because today, Lord, you've chosen me and you've handpicked me for something great and something marvelous. Lord, I know that I have been on my ways. I've walked on my ways. I have done things according to what, how I like it. But Lord, today I come with a humble heart, with a broken heart in front of you. And Lord Father, I ask for forgiveness, Lord. Lord, I repent for everything that I've done. And Lord Father, I pray that from today, as I walk with you, God, I want to walk hand in hand with you. Lord, I want to hear the, your heartbeat. God, I want to understand, Holy Spirit, of what you want me to do and where you want me to take. And uh, Lord, I give my life to you. Lord, I surrender my life to you. Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Let's, let's pray. Lord Father, I thank you for this wonderful time, for this opportunity. Lord, thank you for blessing your people. Lord, thank you for touching your people this evening. I know that this is beginning of something new. I know that this is beginning of something marvelous. Lord, thank you once again in your most wonderful and precious name, I pray. Amen. I'm so thankful for each and every one that, that has heard what God wanted you to hear. I am sure that your journey with Jesus from now on is going to be amazing. I thank you for this opportunity. Uh, I thank my brother again, once again. And I hope that you're having an amazing time. You've had amazing time uh, for all the men of God that has ministered through worship and word. And even, if, uh, and even, as, even as tomorrow is the last day. I pray that God will multiply his anointing, that God will multiply his presence over your lives. Thank you so much. God bless you. Keep loving Jesus. Keep falling in love with Jesus. One more thing. I want to say this. Uh, you know, God is going to raise people in different spheres of life. You know, in your corporate there will be, there'll be leaders who are God-fearing. The government God is going to raise people who are God-fearing. And you, you are the ones. Ministry is going to change. It is not going to be in the church now, but it is getting out of the four walls. It is getting out of the building. And many lives are going to be changed and saved. And people will see raw demonstration of the power of the Holy Spirit through your lives. May God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Pranit. Thank you, bro, for this amazing, amazing word that you brought forth. And I believe that this is a timely thing that, that was needed uh, for this time, for this generation, or for, for a lot of people who are watching this. This is going to be a real treat, and we are going to enjoy this uh, for the rest of the life as it keeps ministering to us, even as we keep hearing it again and again. Uh, just want to thank Mark and Pranit both uh, for giving this time. Uh, for this conference uh, and I pray that the Lord would enable you with much more power and authority and glory even as you minister and and, uh, and influence this generation. Thank you for being the firebrand uh, for Jesus in this generation. Uh, friends coming up tomorrow we are on the last day tomorrow would be the last day that is the fifth day of the conference and uh, we are having an amazing uh, uh, team uh, couple uh, from Punjab who would be leading us into time of worship that is Akash and Martha and I myself will be sharing the word and that would be the end of the conference and I know that this four days uh, must have been really good for you and you have been uh, uh, ministered you have been influenced impacted motivated so keep the fire burning and just keep asking God in prayer that Lord make me a firebrand for for you so Tune in tomorrow at 8 p.m. Uh, sharp so that we can uh, have time together in uh, so that you don't miss the time of worship. And also we will hear the word of God tomorrow. So please share the link and see you tomorrow.